hi uh, <clears throat> today i'm going to discuss about uh, stock market orders uh, the stock market orders are uh, very important uh, to uh, make the trade uh, possible so if uh, if a trader or investor wanted to trade uh, he or she need to understand the type of orders so the type of orders are the orders in which we are using to trade so uh, the conceptual understanding of the orders are very important to make a stock market trade uh, so uh, i i think many of the people you know they are not familiar with the orders okay so they are confused with the orders of course there are brokers various brokers are the app stock geojit and they are using different platforms geojit using selfie sarada using some other platform so these platforms are different and they are using very very technical word, terminologies uh, in their platforms so we need to have a clear understanding of the orders that is very essential to make the trade possible okay also the students uh, you know they are uh, need to uh, learn the orders uh while uh, studying the capital market uh financial services etc so this is very important in the examination point of view also so i am going to discuss about the orders so i can uh, share my presentation right now so different types of orders in the stock market uh so there are four types of orders uh, limit order market order stop loss order stop loss market order okay so these are the four main types out of these four uh, type of orders limit order and market order are uh, using uh, usually for the purpose of trade so some but the stop loss order stop loss lim, stop loss order is also known as stop loss limit order this order is also very important very essential and stop loss market order is also very important so these four orders are very important to make the uh, trade possible so if somebody not understand these any of these order he or she cannot uh, make a proper trade uh, through their uh, brokerage i mean platforms uh, uh, trade platforms of the broker okay so as i said the limit order is the most popular order this order is used by the uh, traders as well as investors so uh, so limit order is the most commonly used order in the stock market uh, so we we are uh, planning you know we have a planning uh, while purchasing a stock for example if we purchase x company limited we uh, we have some analysis uh, you know uh, we should undertake some analysis and find the intrinsic value of the share uh, and uh, this intrinsic value may be the limit price for example if you want if you want to purchase steel authority of india limited so there is an intrinsic value and right now today i think uh, um, the market closed around 117 so tomorrow if you want to purchase it uh, you know 117 uh, or sometimes we may fix 115 so we feel that 115 is most appropriate for purchasing of steel authority of india so we have to make the order as a limit order and 115 is the price but the market price may be 117 or a 118 or some 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 prices but uh, you know you have to wait till the market reaches 115 or below that the order will be executed only you know the price uh, the market price reaches 115 or below because you are making a buy order okay i will show you how we can uh, uh, use this limit order okay so you take the platform i i i am using your platform and this is my portfolio so you know uh, so i want to purchase a sale sale is already with my uh, portfolio already in my uh, portfolio 
so i wanted to purchase already 140 stocks are with me so i wanted to purchase uh, some more stocks you, you know it's about 10 stocks I, i if i want to purchase 10 stocks you can take this uh, okay so just click uh, sale uh, and buy okay so then the order you know this is order and uh, you first of all you have to select the exchange the exchange and uh, there are two types of trade and cash and intraday so other uh, you don't need to worry about right now so cash and intraday intraday means every day it will be settled if from morning you buy in the evening you have to sell morning if you sell and evening you have to buy back so usually the thing is uh, as a beginner of the stock market it's better to invest so that the cash market so it's delivery and if you purchase a stock the stocks uh, you know the stocks uh, will be uh, <clears throat> deposited into your account and your money will be debited this is cash and delivery mode so this is the uh, way in which an investment uh, takes place so uh, you know uh, uh, if an investor uh, wanted to trade uh, or purchase or sell stocks you, you can use this cash option okay so sale is the simple sail steel authority finde limited uh and quantity so number of shares you want to purchase suppose you wanted to purchase 10 stocks and here uh, there are orders so now i am explaining limit order limit order so limit order uh, you have to fix the price and the order will be executed the limit price or below the price because you are using buy price means uh so limit order uh, and the price so right now the price is uh, 119.30 at bsc and 119.35 at nse so uh you can do like uh, you know uh, 119.35 uh nse so you have selected nse so you uh, think uh, the appropriate price is like 117 So 117 will be appropriate. Whenever the market price reaches 117 or below 117, that means sometimes the market may not be like uh, the market price of shares may not reach 117 proper. So sometimes 116.5, 116.70, or order will be executed because you have placed the price, you know, 117. So 117 or below the price, uh, the order will be executed. and uh, you can just submit okay the order will be ex- uh, the order will be placed and uh, you have to wait till the prices the market prices reaches 117 okay 117 to get the order to be executed okay so that's the case of buy so you want to sell it you want to sell it nsc same cash and the quantity same and sell you know uh, now it is 119.35 so you can uh, you know you can fix 119 right now placing so you are waiting for 121 uh, sometimes 121 so 121 may be the appropriate price to sell so you have to wait till market reaches 121 okay so you will get 121 or more greater than so greater than 121 that because you have Made a sell order. So the limit price is one. Whenever market reaches, whenever the price reaches, market price reaches one twenty one. Order will be executed. Or whenever the prices reaches more than one twenty one, means sometimes one twenty one may not reach. So one twenty one point five, one twenty one point two five. So that price in which the order may be executed because you are waiting for a sell. Uh, you are waiting for a sell option because your price is one twenty one. So this is known as. uh the buy and sell based on the limit order this is order is called this order is called limit order okay so hope you are clear on this the next uh <clears throat> next is market order so market order is an order to buy or sell a security immediately okay So in limit order you have to wait for the limit price, but here uh, no need to wait. So whatever price in the market, the order will be executed. So this type of order guarantees that the order will be executed, but does not guarantee the execution price. 
so you know suppose you are giving a market price means sometimes market is really fluctuating you know market is really fluctuating so uh, sometimes uh, it is not possible to get the price in the same market price you ordered okay market is really fluctuating so market order generally will execute at or near the current price so sometimes the same price sometimes the near the current price for uh, for a sell order and a buy order for instance okay so i can show you how the market or market order can be placed so the same example say uh, you can take a buy based on the market order same exchange you selected nse and the sale quantity may be 10 and uh, it's a market order okay so market order uh, and market order because uh, uh, the thing is uh, uh, you have to select the price okay market uh, because now the thing is the problem is uh, right now i am performing this video the market is closed okay so that this price will not work because market is not open so whenever i need to i need to type this price this this option is not active because now uh, the market is in offline okay now the uh, the, the prices of uh, sale has been closed at rupees 119.35 so i have to price i have to uh, if uh, the market is uh, online right now i can i can type the price 119.35 okay and submit this the sell uh, you know sell the uh, market order uh, now it's 119.35 something i can type it and submit so order will be executed order will be executed but the limit order you have to wait till the price is reaches market order whatever is the price whatever is the price in the market based on the price the order immediately executed immediately the stock will be credited in your account if you buy it and debit it in, in case of sell uh, it is debited from your account immediate delivery is possible through the market order because whatever price in the market the order will be executed okay so that's the case of market order okay market order uh, stop loss order this is important so you know uh, people are uh, uh, people are uh, not interested to uh, not interested for more losses okay uh, so that uh, there is an option option that option is not known as stop loss order it means stopping of losses okay so a stop loss is an order that helps you automatically close your buy and sell trade at a stated price. So what is stop loss order? Stop loss is an order that helps you automatically close your buy or sell trade at a stated price. So this helps to stop the losses and protect your capital when the market goes against you. So what? This helps to stop the losses and protect your capital when the market goes against you. So there are two kinds of stop loss orders, namely stop loss limit order and stop loss market order. We will learn the both two orders, stop loss limit order and stop loss market order. First of all, we can uh, look for the stop loss uh, limit order. So example also I can I can uh, tell the example and after that I can show the uh, how we can make this stop loss order. Uh, since you have a buy long position in the market, so long position means you have bought some shares. Okay, you have bought some shares and you are waiting for increase of prices. So we are buying shares with a purpose that the stock prices will increase in the future and we can sell it at a higher price and make it make a profit. That is an intention of the investor so your stop loss order would be a sell order so if you have bought some shares and you for example you have uh, uh, you have a uh, hundred shares and the share prices uh, uh, the, the price in which you purchase is 200 200 uh, okay 200 and uh, you believe that the stock prices will increase and same time same time you have an uh, you uh, you can also fear that the stock price will decrease if the stock price will decrease unlimited way uh, uh, it it may be reach huge losses so that you can make an order stop loss sell order that 190 the 190 would be the stop loss sell order because you have purchased for 200 you can set 190 as the stop loss 
So as soon as the price reaches 190, the order will be executed. Sell order means the stock will be sold. Okay, so, so uh, some, some other example also I can tell. Uh, so suppose you have bought a stock for rupees 500 and you don't want to lose more than 2% of your capital in the trade. So you would like to set a stop loss at rupees 490. So 500 you purchase. You don't want to lose <coughs> beyond 2 percentage of your capital because it it goes beyond 2 percent of the capital. It's, it's a huge loss, <coughs> you know. So so the investor is interested, you know. You don't want to lose more than 2 percentage of capital. Capital means 500 per share. So that he set a stop loss at rupees 490. So now you have two choices. You can either place a stop loss order or a stop loss market order. Okay. So two orders you can take stop loss orders. To the same example, I can explain <coughs> both a stop loss order and stop loss market order. In the case of stop loss order, you need to specify the price as well as the trigger price. Whereas stop loss market order, you need to specify the trigger price. I will explain what is a specific specify the price and the trigger price so in stop loss market order you have to specify the uh, stop loss i mean uh, uh, the, the price and in which the price in which stop loss order can be executed and a trigger price but in stop loss market order you have to specify only a trigger price so i can explain uh, through the hands on so uh, okay the same example say so already you have a sales stock, a steel authority of India stock in your account. And you also, uh, here you need to understand, okay, the average price. The average price is, you know, 125. 125 is the average price, okay? So average price of 140 stocks is 125. So uh, you can make a sell order. Select. Uh, exchange NSE uh, sale uh, number of quantity you wanted to take 50 stocks uh, for stop loss and you can select the stop loss the stop loss here uh, you can uh, 125 the average price you don't want to lose below 124 something like that so you can make the price uh, uh, right now the price is, is 119 okay right now the price is 119 so you don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, get down the prices i mean uh, go down the prices below 115 for example so 115 price. so you can also <coughs> set a trigger price trigger price in which the price reaches is a trigger the prices uh, the market price reaches a trigger price immediately the order order is placed order will be executed sometimes the trigger price we want to sell it right so the trigger price is 160 because it is it should be greater than the uh, it, it should be greater than the stop loss price. So stop loss price 115, trigger price is 116. The market reaches 116. Soon after the the order will be executed, the sell order will be executed. So the, the price between, sometimes between 116 and 115 is the selling price. So that you can, the trigger price in which the market is prepared for the uh, uh, selling. Market is prepared for the selling. And in between 115 and 116, the order will be executed. So, so that you can you can make your safety position and it rises because 50 stocks you have sold out uh, as per the stop loss. If the market sometimes uh, 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 sometimes in the, uh, uh, you might understand that the prices market prices uh, reach one uh, 100 or sometimes, but your position is safe because you you have got 115 rupees 115 because because of the stop loss order. But here uh, you can also uh, have one more option that is stop loss market order. Stop loss market order here price is not needed, just trigger price. So trigger price is same like uh, market order. The 116 as soon as the price, um, the market price is reaches 116, the order will be executed. The order will be executed. So this is the difference. So in the uh, in the stop loss order, you have two options: the price and the trigger price. The order will be executed in between the price and trigger price. But in the stop loss market order, you know, uh, so only the trigger price, the trigger price is the same like the market 
order the trigger price is it means sometimes if the, the sell order is uh, you know it is more than 160 more than 160 the order will be executed okay so this is simple and uh, this is stop loss uh, limit order and stop loss market order again go back to the slide uh, so i have uh, examples uh, stop loss market order you will put a sell stop loss market order with trigger price specified as all the example as rupees 490 as soon as the stock price hits rupees 490 your sell order will be sent to the respective exchange as a market order and the stocks will be sold at the market price so i said as soon as the stock price hits rupees 490 your sell order will be sent to the respective exchange as a market order and the stock will be sold at market price okay so that is a stop loss market order and stop loss limit order already explained stop loss limit order you will put a sell stop loss order with the price uh, and the trigger price specified now it is obvious that your order needs to be sent to the respective exchange before it is executed hence the trigger price need to be greater than or equal to the price for the sell order so now we can set the trigger price as 490.5 and sell price as 490 so this gives you a range of uh, 0 0.5 or 50 paisa immediately after the price level of rupees 490.5 reached uh, your sell order is sent it to the exchange as a limit order already we have seen all these things so there is a difference a difference i said in stop loss uh, market order only trigger price and the stop loss limit order you know uh, uh, stop loss limit order there are two prices uh, stop loss price and uh, the trigger price the difference is execution of the orders okay uh, thank you this is about the orders i can uh, i can uh, make a recap uh, the four orders four orders are important limit order market order stop loss limit order and stop loss market order so market order you know the price at which the market the order will be executed limit order we have to you have to set a limit price and uh, the order will be executed only the stock prices reaches the limit price and stop loss in which we can reduce the stop loss we can make a stop loss uh, through two prices stop loss order and trigger price and stop loss market order we can set the trigger price in which the order will be executed okay okay this is about the orders uh, and uh, uh, this is this order understanding of this order is very important uh, for making the trade possible thank you